G'day, welcome to Duck Solid Gaming and a Farming Simulator 19 mod review. Today we are reviewing the Big M 450 by Stevie. Yes, we're back doing the Big M, Big M again. Uh, we did only just cover the Big M that's in game, the Giants version, just because the fact that uh, Lord of the Grass needs to cover that. Um, but Stevie has actually already come out and colorized the Big M, uh, plus a couple of other things. So uh, we are going to have a quick look at this. As you can see, we've got a black version there, we've got a grey, we've got a purple, we've got a blue, and we've got a different coloured uh, green unit there. Okay, so it is both the main tint and the wheel hubs that are colourable. Okay, but we'll uh, go into the store right now and have a bit of a look-see. Oh, there is also something very important I'm going to mention about this mod and also the base game version. Uh, before the end of this review, so make sure you stay tuned to listen to it because it is very important with using this in the game currently all right So back in our store we go to mowers and we've got the big M So as you can see we've got the big M 450 which is the default Giants version here three hundred and eighty thousand dollars 330 kilowatt of 449 horsepower. We've got the big M 450 from Stevie, which is sixty thousand dollars cheaper yay and uh, it's also basically exactly the same except for its top end speed so the base end speed for the big m is 40 kilometers an hour for stevie's version is 57 kilometers per hour both have the same working width uh stevie's version is a little bit quicker on the grass when you're actually mowing at 33 kilometers an hour as opposed to 25. all right so when we look at the base big m we go in and we uh we don't have any options or anything there so that's just stock standard as is which is fine okay when we go in and have a look, uh, no, I don't want to buy it. Go back. When we go into Stevie's version, however, we now have a few different options. So not only, oh, that's a very horrible looking color at the moment. Let's change that. Um, that's not much better, but anyway, now we not only have the color options. So as you can see here, we can change the design color to whatever color we like, even the pink. Uh, we can't change the yellow. It would be nice if we actually had the option to change that yellow as well. Um, but currently that's not available to us. Uh, and then you change the rim color so we can change the rim color to a pink or we can change it to a black Okay, so we've got all that colorization available to us, which is wonderful. So we can personalize our big M's All right, the other option that's now available to us is we have the Trelleborg standard wheels and we also have the Michelin wide tires So we've actually got now a wide tire variant. So if I look from this profile here and I go back to the Trelleborgs You can see it's quite a significant difference in the width Okay, and that's both the front and the rears. Have a look again. You see how much they come out. So that that's a fantastic different edition. I actually think it looks a bit gruntier with the bigger the bigger tires on it, bigger wheel. So uh, you've got that. Now the other thing you've got is you've got the engine step up. So the base standard for the 449, which is the 449 horsepower, and then you've also got a 517 horsepower version, um, which is ten thousand dollars extra to buy. Okay, so you've got two engine variants, uh, the 517 horsepower giving you a little bit higher um, revs and control and power and all that. Now, there was talk, I know uh, my good friend Grizzly Bear Sims uh, had thought that there was possibly going to be a PTO on this version. Uh, Stevie hasn't got that there. I'm not to say that there won't be one later on, um, but uh, for the moment there is no PTO. But you can still pull behind. Uh, one of the wind rowers, which was the non-powered one. So the actual wind rowing itself is, is driven by the drive wheels on the wind rower. Um, you can use those behind it because it has got a rear hitch, a rear pin. All right, so that's it for, that, uh, for the big M. Now, let's talk about the big M's, both of them. Now, there is a bug with the big M, the base big M from Giants. Uh, and obviously, because this is based on the Giants one, the Stevie version has it as well. And that is the fact that you cannot currently refuel these units from the fuel station. Okay, I haven't actually tested to see if you can refuel it from like a, a fuel trailer, and that may be possible, but I, I somehow doubt it um, because you can't refuel these from the fuel trigger. So at the moment, if you run out of fuel and you haven't got any other way of fueling it, uh, basically you got to sell it and buy a new one. Um, I, I've reported it as a bug on the uh, Giants forum because I'd noticed that no one else had done that. Um, so hopefully they'll pick that up in the next uh, tran tranche of uh, um, fixes or patches and uh, get that fixed for us as quick as we can. And then I would assume that uh, Stevie will fix his version as well. But anyway, that is the Stevie version of the Big M450 for Farming Simulator 19. 
Hope you liked it. It is a great unit. We're really looking forward to getting our teeth into it once Giants fix the fuel issue. And I hope you will too. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. Press the like if you liked the episode. Press the dislike if you didn't. And as always, please don't forget to subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. And come and check us out and interact with us on the Discord channel and the Facebook page. All those details are down below in the comments. Thanks so much for watching. See you later. Bye.